the elemental composition of this body is such that seventy-two percent of this body is water, twelve percent is earth, six percent is air, four percent is fire, the remaining is akash. For one to live well here, water plays the most important role because seventy-two percent of this body is water, seventy-two percent of the planet is water. So the kum or the science of making use of the confluence of rivers at certain latitudes came because of keen observation of how life and the different forces around us function and how we can make use of that. It is very significant and particular day, it's called Maunya Mawasya. People understand that uh, this is a time of great benefit. Usually they stay silent from that day onwards till Mahashivratri. And they're choosing places where water bodies are meeting, rivers are meeting and creating a vortex so that the m m impact is maximum. That is why in that Sangam they want to have a dip on that day. And what started with a few yogis has now grown into like uh, forty to fifty million people in one day. It is the event on the planet. If you go and see there, you will see India. An India of another dimension, people are putting their last penny and traveling from somewhere just to be there for two days because somebody has told them on that day if you take a dip you'll attain mukti. Still eight hundred million people in this country are actively seeking liberation knowingly or unknowingly. It's an incredible thing, nowhere else on the planet there is such a phenomena happening that there are human beings longing to go beyond their present level of existence consciously. When it comes to the inner mechanics of the human being, nowhere else in the world can people offer profound solutions as India can offer because this is something that we've invested our time, life and energies for almost eight, ten thousand years and we have gleaned this knowledge, not something that we believe, not something that we made up as philosophies, something that we observed and noted down and made tools as to how to access this. It's my wish and my blessing that this Kumbh Mela should become a huge step in that direction to awaken the world to this possibility.